One and the two. Ah, one and the two. One and the two. Ah, one and the two. And that will define the timing of the feet as well. So in a way, when we do the timing of the feet for the basic timing, is three quarter, quarter one. I'm kind of going a little bit forward. If somebody feels like, okay, I've never heard that, please ask me or say like, hold it. You can go a bit slower, but I, I try to pack it in. So three quarter, quarter one. Three quarter, quarter one. Three quarter, quarter one. Three quarter, quarter one. Yeah, so that's a good time. Body time. Ha 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 da. Nyan kan kan ka dan kan ka da. Ha 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 ha. I'm taking the time that you know what I'm talking about. So show me your bum. Thank you very much. Ha 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 ha. And feet. Three quarter quarter one. Three quarter quarter one. Three feet out of the bum. Three quarter quarter one. Three quarter quarter one. Quarter, quarter, one, three quarter, quarter, one. Okay. So obviously, now we know good timing, body timing. They're not the same, but they have to go together. Yes. Okay. So, oh, that's the one. That's the one. Okay. So, if we're talking about quarter four, four, for example, before you take a step, you prepare it. And I'm not now. I'm not basically concentrating on the samba. I am leading into something about the Botafogo in the, all the characters, so oh, the dance characters. So when we go in here, you prepare and you do either cruzado beginning or you do volta beginning, two choices. So if you want to do one or the other, please do. But I suggest now you use the volta beginning because of my subject. You don't know that yet, but it's a suggestion. So you prepare and one. So you arriving and then from that you already start uh, rebouncing. So you kind of starting coming off the floor to send your quarter to land on the last beat, which starts from landing and again rising from the foot. So that creates a compression. And one and a two. And one and a two. And everybody know this step? Yeah? A two. And one and a two. Yeah, so this is what I'm So basically we could say cross, side, turn a little, cross, side, turn a little. But then if I do it like that, it's not like samba. So <laughs> we, what we do need to create the samba, for example, in this step, is in the timing of the feet, in the timing of the body, and then putting them together. And that already creates the movement. And if I would do like that, you would all, oh, that's just, you wouldn't need it for another dance. So let's do that again just to clarify that we get the timing there. And one and a two. 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 So now we didn't talk really about upper body. And she said that the beginning she's going to come to the upper body. So what does, what does that mean then? Now for the samba, without this, you wouldn't recognize it. So no matter how much I would think samba here, but if I don't do the lower department, it's very hard to recognize. Because it's very action oriented dance. Yeah. And of course, samba has also other timings than the three quarter or the one. But in this particular set, we use this timing because it's the, the origin of it. Yeah? And then one very characterized thing for you, when you learn first, you put a lot of pounds, so you are highlighting the first thing you learn, but then you actually start minimizing and compressing the pounds. So when you actually want to go up, same time, there is a power, power, sorry, power down, yes? So then we are not hopping. So imagine. 
imagine that you are not allowed to really go higher in the room, you are allowed to go higher in your body. And that would start giving you the so-called hip and body action. Because it's not separate, it's connected to this set. So everybody put the hand on your head. And now you probably start feeling that you're going to use this part of the body as you're compressing and bringing the leg in. You're straightening the leg, but you are not letting it go up. So you start feeling inside the body that there is this compression and power towards each other. So then crossing to the volta, yeah? And from there, using the floor to send leg. And suddenly this leg is very pinpointed, straight, and not taking weight, only a quarter on the inside edge of the toe to be correct, yeah? And you use that to land. And when you do landing, you leave your hip to be landing later than the foot. So you can imagine, when you do this very tight, you can prepare the other leg. If this leg is loose, you're not gonna get the same thing. Okay, so that already is like you know you would be the best thing to do. So that's one of the hits of the summer, yes? So I know whichever instrument inspires you if you think about that. I think that we have quite a lot of the counting at for me at least, yeah? So we go and uh, one and uh, two and one and uh, two and one and uh, two and one and uh, two. Yes. Did you feel like you can do some? from the upper body in a very basic step that this is now the samba thing. So in this kind of step, when you have a lot of body action, you don't want to really take away with your shoulders, but your shoulders could, for example, do an extra little dip or rotate. That's why we did this in the beginning. So your connection and your action is in this area. Your shock absorbance is here. So this action from the hip doesn't go through to the shoulder. Because we see a lot of like movement that it kind of runs through this area. But if you think like in a car, you have a shock absorbance. So when the action is rising, your uh, like I, call, I call, say it like a band of uh, shock absorbance. So it takes it, and then you are free to use, for example, your shoulder, your shimmy even, that boom pa, pa. So that could be part of your action. Or then you can feel that you really do the action and then use your arm, but again the arm is connected to the body as well.